When I started this journey for Muslim schools, I did so on the instructions of my teacher. And he said, in these times and in this country, the most important thing and the most reward-bearing thing is to establish and run a school. At that time, I was working for Prudential, involved in you know, investments and so that. I couldn't understand. And then he said, people have built mosques, mashallah, and those that Allah has given tawfiq, they go and they worship in the mosque. But your young generation, next and subsequent generations, they will be growing up in an environment which on every turn is taking them away from their deen, their iman is at risk. And the most important thing that you could do to safeguard their iman, which is the most important thing that Allah has given us, is to establish Muslim schools and run them. And he said, Wallahi, if you do that, you get more reward than even establishing mosques. And he explained why. Because these young people, they come to our schools, we nurture them, we educate them. We try to make them what Allah SWT wants us to make them, human beings, fulfilling their duty towards Allah SWT. Learning, growing up to worship Allah SWT. Learning the ways of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. And in doing so, becoming good citizens, young men and young women, growing up in a society, participating, helping, encouraging each other to live as believers. And inshallah, as long as we have that at the forefront, when we go back into our schools, then wallahi, that's the best reward that we'll ever get, inshallah. And that's the best service that we'll be doing, not only to our communities, but also to the society at large. Remember, what, remember the sacrifices that our forefathers, our elders made in establishing these schools. Yes, we want them to be well educated, to get excellent results. It's a very competitive world out there. Lots of young people are competing to go to colleges and universities and jobs. But that's a byproduct. The main thing is their iman, their akhlaq. And that's what we need to focus on. And that's what need, we need to really work on to make sure that their iman is safeguarded, is developed, their akhlaq is developed, so that inshallah, on the day of judgment, inshallah, they and we, all of us, will be successful. So let's not lose that focus in a world that's really too uh, focused on league tables, on attainments, and all the other things. They're important, yes. But it will be a sad day if our schools just become excellences for academic achievement, but lose the very essence that our elders spent so much time and energy and made so many sacrifices to achieve, and that is to preserve the Iman. So with those few words, inshallah, I'll hand it back to our speaker. And once again, Jazakallah khair. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.